in today's episode Access Point from Vimar. So, stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. This is the access point from Vimar. The model number is 20195. It comes in this Vimar style yellow box. Let's unbox it. Inside the box you will find the instruction manual. the operation manual and the access point it's really small it actually fits in my palm in order to understand how small it is let me bring a unify access point to compare it That's amazing! On the front there is a status LED and the Wi-Fi on off button. On the back the 230 volts live and neutral terminals. By removing the plastic cover, you will find two LAN connection terminals. And the remote push button connection terminals for using a push button to turn Wi-Fi on and off. Before the installation, let's take a look at the characteristics of the access point. It is a 2.4 GHz access point supporting 802.11 BGN protocol. It has two 10100 LAN ports. It doesn't support gigabit connection. In order to mount the access point in the wall, you will need a VMAR's mounting frame for a square box, like this one. The access point requires two modules in the frame. Push the access point gently inside the frame. It looks very nice. First, I will connect the neutral into the end terminal. and the live into the L terminal. The 230 volts connection is in parallel with this plug. Now, let's open this plastic cover. Here is the LAN connection terminals. Push the connector gently at the sides to remove it.
This is the LAN connector. Here you can terminate the two LAN connections. One to a router or a switch and the second one for example to an RJ45 socket. I will use this UTP cable for the LAN connection. Remove the cable jacket using a cable stripper. For the LAN connection you will need only the orange and green pairs. So, remove the blue and brown pairs. I will trim the wires a little bit. Strip the wires at 6 mm. Push in the connector, first the orange and white orange wires. And then the green and white green wires. The connection type that is used is B. Plug the connector into the LAN socket. Close the plastic cover and secure it with a screw. So, all the connections are ready. Final step is to attach the cover plate. It looks really nice. Let's turn it on and connect it to a switch. Finally, don't forget to turn on Wi-Fi with a short press of the button. Wi-Fi is now enabled, so let's start the configuration. First of all, connect to VMAR AP Wi-Fi. The default password is password. So now we are connected to VMAR's access point. Go to Network Preferences. Click on Advanced. And open TCP IP tab. Configure IP version 4 from DHCP to manually. Give a fixed IP address that belongs to the same subnet as the access point. The default IP address of the access point is 192. 
168 1 225. Leave the subnet mask like mine. Leave the router field empty. Click OK. If you have Windows 10, right click on network icon and go to network and internet settings. Select the appropriate interface, in my case Ethernet. Click on Change Adapter Options. Right click on Network icon and select Properties. Double click on Internet Protocol version 4. Select Use the following IP address. Give an IP address and the subnet mask. Click OK. As you can see from the network scanner, we are now in the same network with the access point. Open a browser and write the IP address of the access point. By default, username and password is admin admin. Click on login. This is the configuration tab. There are three available operation modes. The first one is the access point Wi-Fi and this I'm going to use in this tutorial. The access point in this case is connected to a switch or a router. The second one is Wi-Fi network extension where the device operates as a signal repeater. So, the repeater is used to extend the coverage area of your Wi-Fi network. It works by receiving your existing Wi-Fi signal, amplifying it and then transmitting the boosted signal. The third operation mode is Wired Network Extension. This configuration extends the wired network to an area that the cable or wireless network cannot reach directly. This configuration requires two access points. The first must be connected to your LAN network and configured in access point Wi-Fi mode. The second, it should be configured in wired network extension mode. It is also possible to configure the second access point in Wi-Fi network extension mode so to act as a Wi-Fi repeater. But in this mode, the speed of your wireless network will be reduced by half. For this tutorial, I will select the access point mode. SSID is the name of your Wi-Fi. So I will name it Poseidon Tech VMAR. As encryption, use WPA2. Give a strong password for your Wi-Fi. From advanced settings, you may select manually channel or leave it to auto. You can adjust the transmit power. I will leave radio power to maximum. I recommend you to set radio channel width to 20 MHz. Since my local network is different than the access points network, I have to change the IP address according to my settings. Click save and apply. As you can see, the default VMAR AP Wi-Fi has disappeared. Let's go to Network Preferences to restore my IP address to DHCP. Let's connect to the new Wi-Fi. First, I will check the internet connection. Works fine. I will return now to Access Point's web interface by typing its new IP address. Login. And from Status tab, go to Overview. Here you can see the access point status and the status of the network interfaces. Let's check also the real-time graphs. I will create some traffic with a YouTube video.
So, let's take a look. Now let's go to System, Language and Hostname. There are several languages available. From Administration menu, you can change the password. From Backup Flash Firmware menu, you can backup your configuration. Reset access point to factory default settings, restore configuration from a file, and upgrade the access point into the latest firmware. Finally, you can reboot the access point from this menu. So, this was the access point from Vimar. I really like that it's so small. And it looks great in Vimar's frame. The Wi-Fi coverage is good and you can definitely use the access point in apartments, offices and houses. Of course, in a larger installation that you may need more access points, it's better to use access points that support central lights management control. At this point, I would like to thank Vimar Elas and Kukas Electrical Store for providing me this access point. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my tutorials, consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the next episode.